From a business continuity planning process, how do we know what key processes we have in our organisation? How do we really know what to plan for? Well, in terms of analysing your business for key functions, I have a very simple model, and it's based really on a model of ping pong balls and string. Now, you have particular inputs to your organisation from either suppliers or utilities or products and services that you need in order to implement your own internal processes and in order to create outputs for your clients and stakeholders. Now, all of that ping pong ball and string framework does is create value for your organisation. And that framework is held in a particular tension. The key to an effective business impact assessment is to take that framework and try cutting away at this string or smashing the ping pong balls and seeing which ones have the greatest effect on the tension of the organisation. Now obviously if, the, if the, the, the model is in tension some of the ones you can cut and there'll be no effect. Some of the other ones if you cut them they'll have a very key effect and if you think about that on your business you can then identify those key business proce processes where the impacts will have uh, both an internal and potentially external uh, impact on your organisation and you can identify that those things that are perhaps not so important that could probably be postponed in a crisis situation. So you kind of separate the wheat from the chaff and you have concentration on your key business processes. Now I've just used two examples of impacts, one being reputational, so the smiley face being a client impact in terms of tarnished image, and the other, the stakeholder, I've used a graph of a share price which is downward, which is showing potentially a monetary loss or a value loss for the organisation. There are other impacts that we can choose to use as well, legal and regulatory impacts, financial impacts, um, environmental impacts perhaps, political impacts if you're a government agency. So you need to define your own framework, your own ping pong balls, your own string, and work out what the impacts would be if those strings are broken and who your stakeholders are that would be affected.